Alright. Are black people black Americans? Are we native to North America? Now before I get into this, let's just go over some facts real quick. Let's look at the Americas, North America, South America, the islands in between. What do the majority of people here look like? Or the majority of people in North America and South America put together, are they white? No, they're not white. Are they black? Dark skinned black with curly hair like ours? No. The majority of people from the people called the Eskimos all the way in Canada, all the way down to Southern America, they're brown. They're brown people with slanty eyes, brown skin, and most of them are short. Some of them are tall, but most of them are short. Now, does that mean that all of everybody here looked like that? No. Let's look at uh, the islands over by China, by the Orient. Um, the Fiji Islands. Those people are black. But let me ask this, are they Africans? No. Those people are have been gone for tens of thousands of years. They look more like Australioids, people from Australia. They have soft hair. Not really curly, some of it is, but they have soft hair. They are related to Africans, but no. And before we get into some more facts, let me make a right turn here real quick. Let me ask you something. What does an African look like? In your head right now, if I say, what does an African look like? What do you picture? Are they real black? Are they attractive? Are they ugly? Let me ask you this. What, what does, what's African history? Have they ever done anything? In your head, what is African history? How does it compare to European history in your mind? Does it measure up or did they never do nothing? How does it measure up to Native American history? To the Cherokee and the Choctaw versus African? Who was more advanced? The West Africans or the North American Indian? In your mind right now. Okay, let's get into this. Brother, sister, you don't like being from Africa. You think it's terrible. You think they're all ugly. You think they're primitive. And you hate yourself and you hate your blackness. That's one, most likely, for all you pretendians. Now, just listen to me before you go off because you ain't going to like it, but you got to hear it. I got to talk to you. Two, who's more advanced? I'm sorry, but the Cherokee, the Choctaw, they never, they have a deep spiritual system, but they never really invented anything. If you look at uh, the Cherokee, the Choctaw, the Apache, all these people over here, the North American Indian, and you compare them to West Africans, Timbuktu, Hausa culture, those are the Muslims above Nigeria, West Africans outpaced them by far these North American Indians they don't have a written language they never had any brick uh, building I'm not talking about the people down in Mexico they never built anything over here West Africans are far have far surpassed the more the North American native but most black Americans are very stupid and they don't know African history or any history. That's why anything you tell them, they'll believe it. If you tell them they came from the moon, they'll walk around with cheese on their head and start uh, rooting for Green Bay. We got to say it. A lot of our people are very uneducated. So you say, hey, well, you know, Columbus said he saw this and he said he, he they, they saw black people here and black people there. Were there black people? Well, let's look at that. Let's look at the Hawaiians. Let's look at King Kamehameha. That's a black man. He has black skin, blacker than me. Is he an African though? 10,000 years ago, maybe, but now he's more aligned to the Australians, the Australoids. He has soft hair and a big wide nose. 
these black skin people the black skin Indians that you see over here they're not directly from Africa which you see they are more Australoids and some Native Americans do have black skin but what do they have they have long stringy hair down to their shoulders down to the chest down to their butt we don't have that y'all keep posting these damn pictures of people with long hair talking about I'm a knee G with long straight hair and your hair it don't grow past your motherfucking eyebrows you don't like what's looking at you in the mirror you don't like that you have to be related to Africa because it's portrayed as such a terrible and horrible place in the media and lastly you want the white man here to love you like he loves the Native American here's the thing he can't love you like he loves the Native American he can't ad admire you and give you reparations like the Native American do you know why because he defeated the Native American and the Native Americans no longer a threat the Cherokee are not a threat to America anymore the Apache are no longer a threat to America anymore Black people in America, black Americans, African Americans are a threat to America. That is why they do not like you. <clears throat> Let's look at African history that, the, that you want to deny so bad. What did the Greeks say about Africa? Herodotus says that everything that the Greeks learned, they learned from the Africans. He says that when he went into Kush, into the the Kushites that they were the kindest of men and people didn't even lock their doors. Herodotus says that the ancient Egyptians are black. So you're telling me you're going to turn down the legacy of Egypt, of Kush, all that being connected to that to be a goddamn Native American who lived in a goddamn teepee. And, and peace to the Native Americans because they're very spiritually advanced but I'm sorry they didn't take it far. The high society of America is in Mexico and them as goddamn Mexicans. Now, do they have contact with Africa pre-Columbus? Yes. The people of the Americas have contact with Africa in trade. But if you're talking about was there a civilization of 10, 20, 40, 50,000 people over here, of, of black people, black Americans over here before Columbus, you're wrong. You're wrong. There's some ancient Africans here and there, but there's nothing, even the Australoid type, there's nothing there in high society. Millions upon millions of Africans came over here and the reason we only started out with 500,000 in America is because most of them died. Well, you're telling me that, 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 that everybody came over here on the ship? Yes, we came over here on the ship just like the white man came over here on the ship. Most everybody, people were dying on them goddamn ships and y'all throw that away and y'all spit on our ancestors' grave. Your great, 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 great grandfather came or grandmother came on a ship with people dying, pissing, covered in shit, dead babies that they had to throw away because the baby died and they were stuck down there. And they thought when they got here that they were going to eat them. They didn't think they were getting enslaved. They thought that the white people were going to eat them. And they survived that. Everybody who was weak died on them ships. That's why we're so goddamn strong. Everybody who was weak died. That's why we're so strong. That's why the Caribbeans are so strong. The Brazilians, everybody black over here. That's why we always win the Olympics. Everybody who is weak is dead. And you're going to spit on our ancestors' grave? So you can be accepted by these goddamn people? Because you're ashamed to be from Africa? Yeah, we know how it happened, but what's wrong with you, man? What's wrong with you? Nah, I'm not ashamed of none of that. I'm a survivor warriors in my bloodline everybody should have died on that year. three months covered in piss and shit and everybody coughing and, and cows and horses would have died we survived that shit then you spit on it so what's the what's the issue when you look at these these needy we know that they hate themselves and we know that they want that the, the the white Americans to accept them and love them like they do that. But there's one more thing when you when you look at the homie Dan Caucasoid Calloway, what do you see? One thing about him. I can't be accepted in Africa because I don't look like an African because I got straight hair. That boy is damn near mixed. Now he said something about it that he got black or whatever. I mean I would accept biracial people as black, but look at that man. That boy's hair is straight as hell. 
If you let if he takes his hair out of them braids and he lets it go, he got straight ass white people hair. He doesn't look in the mirror and see a black man. That's why he throws Africa away. That is why. And then you listen to this fool and, and he spits on our ancestors. The man's an idiot. The man said Christopher Columbus was black. And y'all sit up there and pray. Yeah, wait, way to teach. Way to teach. Christopher Columbus was a black man. And then you get mad at us when we say you so damn dumb. Black Americans are dumb. I'm one of them. I know them personally. We are dumb. Christopher Columbus is a black man. The man stood up there and said Harriet Tubman never lived. It was a lie. You're going to listen to this man tell you Harriet Tubman, one of our greatest warriors, that ain't no white woman nowhere got no ancestor like Harriet Tubman. And you're going to listen to this man tell you Harriet Tubman never lived. You spit on our ancestors every damn day with this stupid ass feather shit sticking a feather up your ass. What is wrong with y'all? Because you don't know history. You don't know African history. You don't know any Eastern history. You don't know history at all. You don't know what happened. That's why you fall for anything. The man sat up here and said that actually we brought the white people here as slaves. What? What in the? What? I'm just going to go past that. And if we're Native Americans, why do we have white names? Why is your name Callaway? Your name is French. You got ancestors from a French white man. Callaway, it means uh, the place of stones. That's what Callaway means. Stones like your brain. You don't want to admit that. Hey, yeah, I know what it is. It's hard to be biracial. It's hard to be real light-skinned. I know how black people are to you. But to sit here and the and the and the and the and the shame Africa and the spit on our ancestors, y'all are y'all are y'all are stupid. The, the book is called They Came Before Columbus and y'all never read it. Van Serderman never said we weren't from Africa. He said Africans came here and visited, and that's very true. How do I know this? The base of the pyramids of the Pyramid of the Sun in Mexico is the same exact as the base of pyramids in Giza. It's off by 10. It's 2030 by 2030 for the, uh, the Pyramid of Giza. The Pyramid of the Sun in Mexico is 2030 by 2020 meters, exactly. That's not a coincidence. And it looks like the 10 meters was off because it was a master builder. The Mexicans there, they already knew how to build. There's there's articles of actually African buried next to Mexicans there. We had inter-trade long time ago in the BC era. We don't even know. If you knew how the world really, really was, you would be shocked and you would never be so ashamed. It's very shameful how we got here, yes. Our own people sold us, yes. Shit happens. But for y'all to spit on our ancestors, survive in that slave trade, so you could walk around with some stupidity, walk around with a goddamn uh, feather dress on your head, you don't even know, not every Native American culture uh, wore that. You can't even name what those Indians were called. If they're, if you were an Indian, Indian Native, what was the language called? Niji. You're an idiot. Where were they at? Were they in South Carolina? Were they in Arizona? Were they in Alabama? Where were they at? Now, Africans came here and mixed with Native Americans. That's very true, like the Seminoles. But no, we came from there. I'm not ashamed of that at all. The Ashantis have indoor toilets. You didn't know Ghanaians had indoor toilets. You didn't know the Hausa had indoor toilets. Timbuktu is four or five stories high. Show me something that the Choctaw Indians built better than Timbuktu. They don't even have a writing system, and y'all are trying to do that. Y'all are so stupid, and you want to be goddamn accepted. You will never be accepted. Why? Because you were a threat. Because you were an African who survived. The Native Americans got crushed because they never united. And they were divided always against the enemy. We survived disease and everything. And we were strong against them. We made some mistakes, but damn. For, for y'all to sit up there and listen to Dane Cockazoy Calloway. With his barely black ass and his straight hair. It's just shameful. Tell you Harriet Tubman never lived, man. Please don't ever disrespect our ancestors again. The book is called They Came Before Columbus if you want to know the truth. But don't you ever disrespect, bruv. I'm an African, once called Ethi Ethiopian. My ancestors built pyramids and taught the entire world. Yeah, there's tribalism. We always fought against each other. But no, 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 no. I will never divide myself from that. Don't be dumb and don't disrespect our ancestors. One.